What's going on everybody? So we are getting ready to let Papa go home because we just got stepped on in his car, which we're gonna show you what we did. Hit it. <laughs> it is dual. <laughs> we put train horns on the smart car because you know we could. So now we're working on dad's traverse over here. Or so not traverse, we're doing the it's the rogue, that's what it is. We're doing the rogue. We're already put the fog lights in this car a while back, but now I'm just wiring them in. Original intention was to use the factory harness, but that uh, requires too many parts we don't want to buy. So we're doing the aftermarket stuff. But we're working on that right now and we'll be right back. Everybody's here obviously. At this point, it is obviously very late at night. I've been working all day. My hands are disgusting. As usual, when I'm working on the car, thank God I've got some good soap to take everything off. Um, I'm obviously, as usual, very tired. But I have made a lot of progress today. We obviously got the train horn done on the little smart car, which was awesome and it sounds great. Um, we got the fog lights on the Rogue almost all the way done. Um, we're gonna have to do it on another day pretty much just because of the simple fact that I'm gonna have to tear the front end off of that car to access the um, back of the lights to properly do the harness. I've got everything wired which is good. The only thing I haven't done is obviously connected it to the positive and uh, ground for the actual power because we didn't want any extra power draw or anything like that until we get everything hooked in. But we did get everything done proper. And then for Sylvia, we went through and... Sorry. We got the power steering pump reconnected. We got the air, the AC condenser, no, air, let's see, AC compressor, that's where I'm at right now. Um, AC compressor all done up. We got the belt put back on. I got the cold air intake put on. I got the oil system already ready. I got the cross member for the strut towers um, put back on and at this point, the only thing that she needs is to have her Brakes put back on, which is Tuesday. We're going to be going to pick up um, the last caliper, obviously, for that because we keep talking about it. May not put those on the car because obviously we still have to put the actual um, vinyl on there and clear coat, clear coat those. Um, once those get put back on, then we can basically, well, we're almost ready to put it back on the ground. We do actually have the... Uh, materials to do the transmission um, we got to go through and drain the transmission and get the old um, transmission fluid out and put on the new uh, filter and gasket and refill that obviously which from what I've seen that shouldn't take too long it's probably gonna be another day project so 
Got that, and then what else? Obviously I gotta do the wiring still for the nitrous and the cooling fan for the oil cooler. Hmm. Sorry guys, it's been obviously been a very, very long day. I've been working on everybody's car today. I, everybody's, I even got Sylvia's done. As usual, I did that part by myself because obviously I take care of my friends first and then I go through and take care of myself. And uh, Tony, he was obviously here with the Challenger earlier. Um, he was supposed to have parts today. We were supposed to be working on his car as well, but his parts unfortunately were delayed, which we were kind of having a little bit of a laugh about it because we obviously both use Amazon and... Amazon delayed his shipments and mine came a day early, which is hysterical because I actually got the uh, some rivet guns um, to obviously go through and put the panels and everything else back on properly, like the factory for the uh, the the front bumper and all that stuff. So I got to go through and get that prepped. But those were supposed to be coming tomorrow, so <laughs> we were laughing because. His was supposed to have been here today. My stuff was supposed to be here tomorrow when our shipment switched. So it's unfortunate for him. Got, you know, lucky for me. I didn't really need them today, but it's just funny either way. Um, and obviously we had some new new friends here on, uh, at the house. Um, and I'm not going to say names just because I don't, I don't have their permission to do so. Obviously Tony's been in a couple of the videos so far. And so he knows that. But the other guys, I'm not going to say until um, we actually have a conversation with them about it. But obviously, you have to see their cars. Their cars are awesome. Um, you know, everybody's cars that we come into contact with this channel. Everybody's car is awesome to them in their own way. And obviously, for your vehicles, you know, whether you're using them just to get to work or, you know, to have fun like we do or anything to that effect, it's your vehicle. You have to make it your own. You have to customize it your way. If you don't want to do anything, don't do anything. But you still got to take care of it. Because if you don't take care of it, it's not going to last, obviously. Sylvia, I've had since she was brand new. I purchased her, I believe it was September of 2014, as the new 2015s were coming out. Um, nothing really changed from the 14s to the 15s. There were some minor differences, but nothing really severe. And then late 15, I, early 16 is when the... Uh, the new six gens came out and obviously everything changed for that. Um, but at this point, oh, I also forgot. We still need to go through and put the, you can see them right here. Got to put the side skirts on. I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal to that though. I just have to clean up the, the current side skirts and it's just a lot of work. Um, yeah. At this point, I'm I'm gonna say probably another another couple of weeks, um, just because of me working and everything else before everything gets done proper. Um, but she's coming, you know, she's coming along. It's definitely definitely been a struggle, especially you know, obviously doing by myself. I don't I don't mind doing stuff like this. I like doing stuff like this. It's very tedious and can be very frustrating at times when things are not going together the way they're supposed to, which I'm sure you guys have had that same same thing as well. So, but anyways, obviously we've been having a little bit of real talk because I'm fully transparent when it comes to stuff like this. I don't need to hide stuff from you guys, obviously. You guys are gonna see it because it's on the channel. So. Anyways, we're going to end the video here. Uh, thank you for, yet again, coming to Double SBC Garage. Um, if you guys have any comments, post them down below. If you guys need to get a hold of me, obviously you have my contact, which is the email. Um, and I'm going to put it right here. Um, reach out to me. I, I don't mind helping. I mean, obviously the guys that came today we all learn a lot you know as we go I have learned a lot of things with my own mistakes over the years and taught them some new stuff we got to experience some new stuff obviously and Tony can you know say that too so it's kind of cool but anyways like I said we're gonna end the video here 
Thank you for joining us. And if you guys like content like this, please subscribe, share it to everybody. Watch the other videos because I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, just watch the other videos. You'll see the information about that and how we get there. Uh, we are on our way, obviously. Um, but we still got a long ways to go. So anyways, you guys have a great day. Thank you for joining us. And we'll talk later. Thank you.